Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy textured crochet blanket. The free written pattern can be found on my website at julesandjones.com and you can find the link for that in the description box below. Let's get started. The materials that you're going to need to make this blanket is you are going to need four balls of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Respun yarn in the color Whipped Cream and this is a 100% recycled polyester yarn. You're also going to need a 9.0 millimeter crochet hook, one stitch marker, a pair of scissors to cut your yarn, and a darning needle to work in your ends. All right, let's get started with our pattern. All right, so before we get started, I just quickly want to go over how this pattern is worked. So this pattern is made by alternating between two different sections. So the first section you'll work in the blanket will be the Zuzette stitch which is just made using single crochets and double crochets. And then the second section, you're just going to work double crochets. So it's a very easy and simple blanket. All right, so I'm gonna be making a swatch of this blanket, but you can also go ahead and start the blanket using the correct amount of chains. Okay, so for the swatch, I'm gonna be chaining 12. And then if you wanna go ahead and start the blanket, you'll be chaining 100. All right, so first we need to make a slip knot though. So go ahead and grab your yarn and you're gonna wrap it around your finger twice. Then you're gonna take the back piece, push it over the front piece, and then take the front piece and push it over the back piece and over your finger. Then pull tight for a slip knot. Then go ahead and take your crochet hook and insert it into that loop and then just pull tight one more time. And there you go, now we've got a slip knot. So now we're gonna be chaining 12 for the swatch. All right, so wrap your yarn around your hook and make a chain, so that's one chain. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, once you have 12 chains or once you have the correct amount of chains for the blanket, which would be 100, go ahead and make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. All right, so for a single crochet, you want to go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over one more time and pull through those two loops. And there you go. Now you've made a single crochet. All right, so now we need to make a double crochet into that same stitch. So for a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the next two loops. And now you've made a double crochet. All right, so it should look like this. Okay, and so now we are going to skip the next stitch and we're gonna make a single crochet and double crochet in the following stitch. All right, and so this will also be where our repeat starts for the first row. So skip that next stitch and make a single crochet and then make a double crochet. All right, okay, just gotta get a little bit more yarn here. Here we go. All right, so now this is where our repeat starts. So we're just gonna skip the next chain and make a single crochet and double crochet in the following chain. Okay, so go ahead and make your single crochet and make your double crochet and just continue to do that till your last two stitches. All right, I'm here at my last two chains. And so now what we're going to do is we're gonna skip the next chain and make only one single crochet in the last chain. All right, so go ahead and make your single crochet. All right, and you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so now we completed row one. So now we're gonna start row two. So for row two, you want to chain one and we are going to turn our work and we are gonna make one single crochet and one double crochet in that first stitch. Okay, so the first stitch is gonna be right here. So go ahead and make a single crochet and then make a double crochet. All right. So now we're basically gonna be repeating what we did for the first row. So we're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna make a single crochet and double crochet in the following stitch. Okay, so we're skipping this one and we're working a single crochet and a double crochet. 
Now you just want to continue to do this until your last two stitches. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue and then I will meet you right here. Okay, so I'm here at my last two stitches. So now you want to skip the next stitch and you want to make a single crochet in the following stitch. Now the last stitch can be a little hard to see, but it's going to be right here. Okay, so we're skipping this one and it's going to be right here on the side. All right, so you might have to use your fingers, but that's totally okay. I do it all the time and I'm just going to work it in there and make sure I got it through both yarns. There we go. And go ahead and work your single crochet. And there you go. So now we've completed row two. So now for the pattern, what you want to do is you want to continue to repeat row two until row six. So you want to make four more rows of row two. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue making four more rows and then I will meet you right back here when I've completed six rows total. All right, so I just finished six rows of my first section. And so now we're going to be working our second section of our pattern. So that's going to be the double crochet. Now, before we get started with that, I just want to note that you might find it helpful to place a stitch marker on this last single crochet of the last row. I find it really helpful because sometimes it can get a little bit confusing where to place your double crochet. So here's my single crochet and I'm just going to place a stitch marker right there. All right. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start making our double crochet rows. So for our second section of our pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. Now you're going to flip your work. And you're going to make a double crochet in that first stitch right here. Okay. So to make a double crochet again, yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops and then yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Now you want to continue to make double crochets until the very end. Okay. So let's go ahead and make another one. Here's our following stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Now just continue making those double crochets until the very end. All right, so I just finished working my double crochet row, so you should have something that looks like this now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna make two more rows of double crochet for the second section. All right, so let's go ahead and start our second row for the double crochet. So this would be your sixth row, your seventh row, and that would be your eighth row. All right, so let's go ahead and chain three again. Turn your work. And now you're gonna make a double crochet in that first stitch right here. All right, and then just continue to do that until the end of the row. All right, so I just finished my two rows of double crochet, and so now I need to make one more for my third row of double crochet. So we're gonna do the same thing again. We are gonna be chaining three, one, two, and three. You're gonna flip your work, and you're gonna make a double crochet within each stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it, and then I will meet you right back here as I've made all my double crochets. All right, so I just finished my last row of double crochet, and so you should have something that looks like this now. All right, so now this section is complete. So the pattern becomes very easy after this because all you're going to do is just repeat between these two sections. Okay, so you're gonna alternate. So the next section would be section one again, which is the Z stitch, and then the following one after that is gonna be section two again, which is double crochet. So it makes this pattern really fun and easy to work up. All right, so I actually have the blanket in front of me, so let me just pull it out and then I can show you a little bit better. All right, so as you can tell, this is the Z stitch, so that's what we're starting off with. And then here are my double crochet rows, and then here it is the Z stitch again, and then double crochet. All right, and don't forget, you can always take a look at the blog post because the blog post is gonna have detailed row by row on what to do, okay? So if you get lost, you can always just click on that link in the description box and I'll bring you right to this pattern. Okay, so I really hope you find this tutorial useful and I hope you get a lot of use out of this blanket. It's really nice and cozy. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.